Hey everyone and welcome to our first episode of our new mini zoo the series Isle of Wild is called and yeah um, with the new conservation pack um, released just yesterday we are starting a new mini series um, as I said in the last video I wasn't sure how to include the new animals into this into my current park into Raven Creek so I decided to start a new mini zoo uh, focusing on conservation and on yeah um, protecting these animals uh, in a safe environment and this is what it what it was what it uh, became in the end Isle of the Wild um, basically a small island somewhere in America I think I will place it um, which focuses on yeah protecting these animals studying these uh, animals and also breeding them and providing a safe environment for them. And the first of, of the ones we are building for is the amazing Siamang, the biggest gibbon which there is in the world. And we of course will also have the Jowalski horse, the scimitar oryx and the leopard in the end. And yeah, this is not really a zoo, it's more um, yeah um, a conservation project. So it's not a zoo in your uh, standard, typical um, uh, manner. It focuses more on studying these animals and yeah, uh, less on um, entertaining guests, so to say. Um, we of course will have some guests, this island will have some guests like school groups or students that can come here to uh, learn about these animals and how uh, and learn about conservation. But it is not focuses focusing on um, yeah it's less, less focusing on the guests and more focusing on the animals itself. And a short disclaimer: <laughs> everything you see right until the end of this video was built in advance in preparation for the conservation pack. So I'm not using um, any of the new pieces um, that we got with this pack in this um, build because I didn't have the access uh, access to them but um, in, the, uh, ne in the next episodes we will of course use all the new pieces that came along several those packs as well as building some hopefully amazing backstage areas um, that are left out in this video to focus on them in another one and yeah this is a mini zoo so uh, only a couple episodes not as big as Raven Creek um, we built basically until this map is f um, yeah filled it is the one from the campaign mode this island bernie sanders but Bern bernie sanders um bernie goodwin <laughs> memorial island i think it is called so it's a really small map and i don't have a lot of space so i have to build a little bit of space efficiency and which provides a little of another challenge but yeah, let's talk about this build. Enough of uh, explanation of what this is and what is what the idea behind this is. Yeah, we are building for the Siamang, um, our newest ape or newest monkey in our roster, um, which ca also comes with a lot of new behaviors. Um, most notable, the brachiation behavior. And I have to say, I'm really a big fan of these ape animals, of these of these monkeys. Um, what Frontier did with them, um, what, with the animation, everything is really amazing. It really is really cool, and I love watch, just watching them climb around on this, on their new enrichment piece. I have to say, it, it is not really a climbing piece. It is, of course, climbing piece, but um, for Simex, it also acts as an enrichment piece. So they have a set animation of them, the brachiation behavior, which is not really a behavior. Um, it's more an enrichment. It is a bit confusing, <laughs> but as to say, um, yeah, only the Simon can break eight on them so far. Um, let's hope we get some more animals like the orangutans um, later down the line, also using this the, um, this uh, new animation piece, so to say. And yeah, um, my idea for this habitat was a very typical. Um, yeah, gibbon habitat that you see in a lot of zoos and parks um, with these with this island uh, in the water um, which they can't escape from because uh, monkeys don't like to swim so um, having water around them water mode around around it um, is a good way to keep them out and it is not that deep so even if one 
monkey would fall in, we could uh, easily rescue them. So um, it's just basically there to give the monkeys uh, um, illusion, or to give the monkeys the idea that there is a deep, there, that, that there is deep water. That's also the reason why we why I colored the bottom a little bit darker, um, so they don't try to cross it. And yeah, speaking of the conservation pack that released, uh, if you see this video um, the day it's it's uh, published, then it released yesterday. Um, if not, it released a couple days or weeks ago, uh, even months maybe. And yeah, um, it is really cool, I have to say. It's a really solid pack. Uh, just one note before we talk further about the pack. Um, we are also building, of course, a little indoor area here um, for... If, if we have a little bit of colder climates, the monkeys still have some place to go to. Um, yeah. So speaking of the conservation pack, um, it's a solid pack. I wouldn't call it the best pack, um, simply because there are a couple of things I would have loved to have in this pack that aren't here. Um, for once, the amount of pieces we get with this pack is um, notably. Um, smaller than in the last packs, only 150 pieces uh, in comparison to the last uh, piece pack, which was the Euro pack had 250, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so we have a lot less, a lot of, we have, have way less pieces. <laughs> Sorry, it's late. <laughs> um, to work with, but what it lacks in the amount of pieces it really makes um, up in the um, yeah, variety of pieces. We got a lot of new of the of new backstage stuff like uh, buckets, tools, um, water drains, and everything um, crates, which is really cool. But we also get an, a bunch of also other amazing things. Um, most of them yeah, themed around conservation and. Um, um, not wasting resources, which is really cool. Um, my f my favorite would be um, that we get a, a, a set of new wood pieces, wood planks and bars and everything that are recoverable and not climbable, um, which is really awesome. So you can use them in your monkey, uh, big cat, whatever uh, exhibits with animals that climb and they will not climb them. So um, giving us a lot of new options um, yeah, to use wood pieces in a climber, climbers exhibit um, without um, uh, messing up the climbing, yeah, the climbing, yeah, how do you call it? Um, the, cl the way that animals climb, so to say, and they, they can't escape basically um, with them. Um, the, what, when it comes to the animals, um, as I said in my last video, I really like the, the choices of animals in here. Um, I, if I would think about it, I wouldn't know which one I would um, change out for a different animal. So it, 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 it speaks for itself that these animals are really solid choices. A lot of them we asked for a long time, like the Siamang and the Amul Leopard. Um, speaking of Amul Leopard, um, we come to this in a later video, but for now I would say um, the face. <laughs> it is not perfect, as of course um, it is not something al we always have to complain about. Yeah, this, this one would be this um, the Amir Leopard's face, which looks a little bit sad, a little bit comic-y, um, for my too comic-y for my taste, less um, realistic. But um, it's still an awesome animal, and it still looks awesome, and I think we will have a lot of fun with it when it comes to building for these, um, yeah, for these big cats. But the other animals, the Chevalsky horse, Scimitar Oryx, Siamang, and even the Axolotl are really awesome. They look really cool, especially the um, Chevalsky horse and the Siamang have an awesome, yeah, animation set and um, look and are really modeled um, like they would look in real life. And since we are building for the Siamang, let's stay there. Um, I am really impressed what Front you did here. Um, I watched a couple of videos in preparation for this build um, from uh, from different zoos with their Siamang exhibits. Watched uh, watched a, a lot of, of pictures, and now seeing these animals in game, it fe almost feels like straight picked out of reality and placed in this game. Um, when they do their chorus behavior, when they shout and and scream, they are air sac that they have on their throat fills up even in this game um, and yeah to produce these sounds and when they climb around 
you could really think they Frontier took these animations, these um, things straight out of, of real life and copied them into this game. Uh, yeah, this crane <laughs> is a part of the map, of the basic map. Um, it ca it comes when you start with, it comes with this crane on this little harbor area. And um, I thought, why not use it and make it like an, uh, a climbable um, enrichment for the monkeys so they can climb all the way to the top um, via these bars and, and ropes and everything. Uh, they can use it in game. I tested it. I haven't seen one climb all the way to the top so far, but maybe in one day, maybe I get uh, get a, I get lucky and uh, see one climbing up there. But yeah, I, I thought why not use it? Why if maybe if it's there, of course this this park or this um, area is also for conservation. And if they already have stuff laying around or um, standing around, why not use it instead of uh, building uh, new and expensive things? So yeah, um, I have thought why not integrate it into this area and yeah, um, the plan for this zoo is basically having of course all the DC animals, but also um, having some of the base game and other from other DC, uh, animals from other DLCs in here. Um, not many, as I said, the space is limited and the focus should be on the DLC ones. But if we still find space, I can see us placing down some more animals that are um, endangered or critical endangered in the wild. I think we will focus on these type of animals. Um, stuff like the, the, uh, some of the lemurs. Um, I think the orangutan is also endangered. But I would like to have your see hear your opinion on that. Which animals you think would fit good in also in this zoo that don't require a lot of space, a lot of uh, elaborate um, habitat design uh, to make happy, um, so we can have them this little area. Um, I also try to integrate as much of the new um, the new pieces that we got. I also th think about that maybe adding a, a small uh, greenhouse here since we got a lot of no new um, planting stuff so um, the people here could grow a, a, a portion of their food that they need for the animals uh, locally in their greenhouse and don't have to import it via a ship so even so so also there um, yeah um, saving some money and saving some traveling time which I think would uh, be really nice and I with the new pizza we got, with all the new plants and, and, and vegetables we got, I think this would work. Um, yeah, as I say, the pieces that we got with this pack are are really cool. Um, apart from, of course, the wood pieces, we got uh, this new building set, the 3D concrete uh, set, which looks nice with a nice, nice texture to it. We got a bunch of new, uh, it's kind of like a new uh, plaster set, but with wood recoverable. So a lot of um, f uh, gridless pieces there. Um, and we also, of course got the green roof stuff. We got a lot of tools. Uh, we got new lamps. So a lot of stuff here that really looks organic, really looks natural, um, which is really nice. And yeah, gives um, players uh, huge new um, ways to build stuff and also I love the benches um, that we got this pack they are very generic um, <laughs> which in this case is a good thing because they are not very themed they are they look like every uh, standard park bench and park bin and I already can see me um, now talking about Raven Creek replacing all the bins and benches in Raven Creek with the new ones and now we finally have the pack this is what um, yeah, uh, uh, shortly after I got the pack now we have the animals in game and now we can play with the new um, enrichment yeah with the new climbing piece that we got for the Siamangs and I know um, maybe some of you already heard that there is so, uh, a little bit of a bug at the moment with this new climbing pieces meaning uh, or which means that um, the Simon performs the brachiation only on these single pieces here um, not on the entire track basically the entire roller coaster track as, uh, as it is called in the community 
um, and as soon as a new piece begins, they stop the animation. But Frontier or uh, knows about this. Frontier uh, said they will look into this and they will uh, hopefully fix it. So in the future, uh, the Cymanx will brachiate um, all the way, all the way around all um, the whole track basically, which um, is really cool. And yeah, um, they are big. They are quite big. Um, I would have loved to get some smaller pieces here. Um, but they work. They they kind of work. Um, they are not that common in Simon um, habitats, as far as I've seen. I saw them uh, or similar ones in a couple of Asian zoos um, on the internet. But usually you would uh, use stuff like rocks. Um, uh, not that rocks. Um, you're placing rocks here, so I was a bit confused. Uh, you would use stuff like wood or ropes, and they would also yeah brachiate on them, like they, they would on these metal pieces. So maybe Frontier could add uh, also a wooden version of these in the future. Um, <laughs> pleading face, please, please. <laughs> if not, it's also fine. They, if you recolor them uh, in this more neutral colors like brown or gray, they also do their job and they look quite great. Yeah, planting. Um, um, it's a it's a simple. We don't have any big trees uh, or plants in the in the in the habitat area because otherwise the Simon could use them to climb out. And we stick to low grain grasses and some of the new ones with like these bushes. We got with the DLC. We also got all all these new meadow uh, grassy things, um, which are really awesome. And I kind of wait to use them um, at some point. And you will see later in the real-time part that I added some more stuff to the water, like algae and everything. Um, which, uh, yeah, um, so it looks a bit more realistic. Also some lily, uh, some lily pads, but I wouldn't want, didn't want to include that in the speed build because otherwise it would have taken too long. But yeah, we are all, almost um, nearing us the end of the speed build and um, getting close to the real time part. So I say um, thank you for listening. <laughs> I hope much of this made a uh, lot of make made sense. <laughs> if not, tell me. But yeah, I see you in the real time part, and I hope you enjoyed it so far. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>
from <laughs> apart from um, the con from the DLC ones, you think deserve to be in this conservation zoo, this conservation area here. Um, what animals need our yeah our help here. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked what what we did for the first episode. And I hope I see you in the next see you next week with the second one. So until then, stay safe, take care, <laughs> and listen to Simon screaming around. So yeah, see you next week. Goodbye, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>